Hey folks, it's Will. I uh, wanted to take the opportunity to talk about self-care. And self-care, once introduced to it, is a pretty straightforward concept. But a lot of us forget about it. Um, self-care is your ability to take care of yourself. Now, that means things like getting enough sleep, getting enough to drink, getting enough to eat over the course of a weekend. <clears throat> now, during, during a LARP or a weekend long event or whatever, like we can often want to, to push ourselves to accomplish this giant list of things or to experience all the stuff we're afraid of missing out. Now, no matter what you do, there are gonna be pieces that you're not gonna see. You are incapable of being at every location at once. And honestly, because of that, your version of the event is going to be unique, uh, or at the very least, closer to unique than everyone else's. Um, and that's cool. Like, you being able to be uh, keeping yourself together, um, a little more alert because you've had rest, you've had sleep, you've had something to eat, and I said sleep twice, um, and drink. That's the other one. Um, and I used to be horrible at this. Um, and I had no one to blame but myself. <laughs> and thankfully, uh, I'm better now. I make sure that I bring plenty of water. Um, I bring like sports drinks as well, but those are optional. Um, and I also bring food and backup food and sometimes backup food for the backup food. Because sometimes I forget like I just straight up forget. Um, so when you're preparing for your event, know know the format. Is it you know, is it is it four hours you're going to be active? Is it twelve? Is it forty eight? Um, make sure you have what you need to uh, to take care of yourself. If you have <coughs> allergies or you have a condition that requires medication, bring it and. If that requires like special storage, uh, reach out to your, your event organizers because they'll probably be able to help you out with that because they want you to stay healthy as much as I want you to stay healthy um, and hopefully as much as you want yourself to stay healthy. Um, so another thing that's kind of, you know what, it's not even unique to, to LARP. It happens with any, any large scale event. When you are there, you're going to be experienced, experiencing a heightened emotional state. If you're, if you're going to a LARP, or if you're even going to a, you know, a festival concert, you're going to be exposed to stuff that uh, is going to be super awesome, or maybe super scary, or whatever. Knowing how to manage those emotions or expect them, um, like for example, we have we have horror elements in our games so it's scary sometimes um, knowing how you deal with that sort of thing and knowing how you need to recover um, some people you know get stuffed in a box and want you to put you know want to get stuffed in another box or want to get covered in blood whatever but there are other people who are still very interested in participating in that that need some time after to, to decompress or, or to process, and that's okay. See if your event has a designated out of character space or, or something along those lines that will allow you to be, uh, be safe. Or if you want to decompress in character, that's a thing you can do, um, not something I, I suggest, but you know, this is, this is your adventure, this is your journey. Um, so having, having said all of that, you know, make sure you, make sure you eat, make sure you sleep, make sure you are drinking enough fluids. Uh, those are the core things. And also supplemental to that is keep an eye on your, your emotional state because some, some of the things we experience, um, in, in events like ours is, you know, heightened emotions. And sometimes those heightened emotions are a, a, a fictional portrayal like you're acting them out like you're pretending that you're having all this anxiety and angst because you know you're 
your fam your family you know got lit on fire and you know trampled by raiders and you know uh, made into toothpaste or something um, or maybe it's real maybe you're really anxious maybe you're really upset if you are it's totally okay I don't know what like all events out of character symbols but for us that's what we, we put our hands on our heads and we're like I need to like I'm out like this is too much um, and that's okay because your safety is way more important than you know an additional jump scare or you know an additional creepy moment um, because at, at events like ours we want your experience to be a positive one we want the the scares to be something that you look back on with with joy we don't want any real dread because that's that's not what we're here for um, so you know if you uh, if you have any other self-care items that you like taking care of uh, during an event or in-game, uh, feel, feel free to uh, leave a comment below and uh, let me know what I may have missed. Um, and I'm probably, at the moment, I'm, I think I'm going to plan an after-game and in-between game uh, self-care video like this um, because I, uh, I like that idea. So thank you so much for uh, listening. And uh, I'll see you in the wasteland.